Hi y'all, it's Jojo here, the Joyous Genealogist, and welcome to your channel. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope you decide to stay. I hope that this channel helps inspire you in your genealogy, and I hope that you can grow with me in your genealogy. So first off, I did change the name of the channel. It was Jojo the Joyous Genealogist, and I just changed it to Joyous Genealogist. That's it because it just felt right, because I want this channel to be about helping you, and I want to help people personally in their genealogy. I want to start doing lives. Um, my busy schedule right now is, yeah, my schedule is kind of busy. It's crazy. So eventually, that's what's going to happen, though. We're going to start doing some lives, but I'm just teaching people on some major steps and tools to use in starting genealogy, and this is one of them. So if you're new here, let me know if you're new. I welcome you and let me know what you think about the name change and your thoughts on that. I'm still going to keep the little logo Jojo the Joyous Genealogist um, for now. I don't know if I'm going to change that, but I'm still Jojo and I'm still joyous. So I like to keep that. And um, so, yeah. Also, let me know if you've used Family Tree Maker. Or if this is new to you and you've never heard of it before, or let me know if you use Roots Magic and or if you've never heard of Roots Magic before. I did a video on that a couple days ago, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can check out in the playlist. So it would be in the tools playlist and getting starting started with gene genealogy playlist. So you can check it out there for sure. So yeah, go check it out there. And so we're going to talk about Family Tree Maker. And I'm excited about this. Now, I have used both softwares and software programs. And I've talked about this in a video in the playlist, um, Getting Started with Genealogy. And it starts with the very beginning. So if you're really getting started, go to that playlist, Getting Started with Genealogy. And I bring you back to center where you really should start. And that is writing down your lineage, talking and interviewing your ancestors, recording them, you know, getting pictures, all of that. So there's a bunch of things we need to do before we get started. That way we can build upon that and build upon our tree. So basically what we once we do all of that, what we need to do is we need a software program that we can use and I first suggested Roots Magic because Roots Magic has a free version that has a quite a bit of like perks, quite a bit of features to it, um, quite a few compared to even the paid version. So and it's only forty dollars. It's thirty nine ninety five. So if you can afford that, then that's a good software to use. It syncs with Ancestry and um family search and you can check that out in the playlist also getting started with genealogy or tools for genealogy so let's talk about family tree maker now there's not a free version of this that i'm aware of um there could be i just didn't know hopefully if there is i will find out though right um i've used this in the past i really like it i downloaded it or i upgraded it in march and i haven't done a whole lot with it um, at first, it was kind of intim intimidating, but now I've been playing around with it. It's pretty easy to use. I like the layout of it. I just love the color. I like the layout. It just doesn't look, just looks like it's easy to move around compared to, to Roots Magic. So for me, I like it, but you know, you're going to want to pick the software that works best for you. You know, everybody's different. So, I mean, I can't tell you what's going to be best, but all I do know is that you need something that you can store your family tree onto that will last forever, that you can hand down to your lineage, to your children, your great grandchildren, and so on and so forth. So, what I like about Family Tree Maker, you guys, is that it is a willable software that you buy, it's a willable subscription, basically. So I paid for it. It was, um, I was looking at my receipt. It was $39.95, but I think I paid for an upgrade and that's why I got it for that price because I had owned it previously. So right now it's $79.95. It's not on sale. It doesn't go on sale very often. Usually around Christmas though is when you can catch it on sale. Um, so if you want to wait till then, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I like the fact that you can literally will this to your family. 
And that's what I did. So I have two certificates that are, you know, tucked away somewhere safe that I can give away to or that I will give to my two kids um, that because I can only will it to two, not three. So I willed it to two. And then when I pass away, they'll get the login and all of that, that software and all that, all those backups from it. So they can care. So it's my my work's not wasted. Right. So. Basically, what Family Tree Maker does is it backs up your information onto your computer and it's just like a software. I think of it just kind of like um, it's just like a box, I guess you could say. And you put all of your genealogy, all your family names in it when you open it. And that's how it works. So your information is stored in the, their cloud and it's also stored in your computer. So it just always stays with you is what I'm saying. And then the software after as the software changes, your information is easily uploaded into that software. I hope that makes sense. All right. So let's talk a little bit about this. I probably won't. I'll try not to take too much time on it. And I'm going to be looking at my other screen because it, it's a little bit bigger font. OK, so it's been around for 30 years and we talked about that. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a tree building tool, integrated web searching that is also syncs with family tree and ancestry. Um, and then it has a huge variety of options like charts, reports, um, options for managing data. Also, um, you can color code. So hints in the index, lots of new news here, starting with the ability to download an entire branch off a of family search tree in family search 2019. So that's cool. So you can now download an entire branch from family search tree into family tree maker. So it gets easier with user hints linked to more than 6 billion online family heart search historical records. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to show you guys too how easy it syncs with family search and how e it's just so easy to do this. I'm amazed. It's it's awesome. And then also it's got profile picture perfection. So it has photo editing. You can colorize your photos. It can auto correct and um, help perfect them, help crop them too. So that is pretty cool. It says where, okay, so, all right. And then turning back time, this is also um, really worth your while, it says. It says it keeps track of every one of your last thousand changes. Made a mistake three days ago, but your last full backup is three weeks old. Simply roll back to just before the mistake of the, mis before the mistake was made with a single click, then use the comprehensive changes log to restore the moves that you meant the moves you meant to make problem solved sorry i hit the desk there and then also tree vault cloud services is pretty cool okay so this is you get this free for six months for the first six months and then um it's like two dollars a month i think like a dollar 99 so it's like 12 dollars a year and what it does it's a family tree maker tree vault it's no longer an isolated desktop application, but um, but rather the hub of a growing ecosystem of mobile apps and cloud services. View changes in Family Tree in real time on your smartphone or tablet. Know what the weather was like the day your grandfather was born. Sleep better knowing that an, that an app up-to-date copy of your tree is securely tucked away in the cloud that someday will be passed on to the next generation for you new services will be added over time so like i said everything's uploaded into that vault nothing will ever get lost so that's pretty cool they also let you know like you have a subscription for free and they let you know before that subscription expires like before it's going to expire so they don't just bill you without um confirming with you first just so you know that i don't know if i forgot anything up there okay and then if you come down here there's album walk media player we're going to touch on that here in just a second and then there's rich color coding 
not just coding the home person's ancestors, but each ancestor's descendants as well. So rich color coding is just one click away. Photo darkroom, ele elegantly simple editing tools, powerful but easy to use tools that just in a few clicks can take an old photo, faded beyond recognition and restore it to look like the day it was printed. That's cool. I haven't used that yet, so I'll have to experiment with that. Charts and reports. So you can print all types of different charts and, and reports um, of your family tree, spouses, so on and so on. Anniversaries, birthdays, contact lists, all that. And then organize your media with ease. Illustrate your family story with photos, historical records, and audio and video files. These easy to use tools in Family Tree Maker help you manage media faster than ever before as well as add photos directly from iPhoto, scan images directly into your tree, and even create slideshows. I have not figured out how to do that, and I've tried. I really have tried before I did this video, and I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to have to dig even deeper because I didn't find any apps. I didn't wasn't able to do it from the Family Tree Maker app. The Family Tree Maker app is just literally the information. You can't do anything with it. You can't edit it or anything like that. And then you can put your ancestors on the map. You can actually see like the streets in certain locations they visited, where they lived. You can actually track their migration also. And then there's a companion guide. So there's a complete guide here that comes with the software. So it comes as a digital PDF, but you can also purchase the book um, for, I think, $20 or something like that. We'll go over that. All right. So everything you need to include or begin your journey through your family's history. Variety of charts, dozens of reports, themed backgrounds, borders and embellishments, collections for printing, location database with more than 3 million place names for consistent data entry, access to online street and satellite maps, digital version of the campaign guide, convenient on screen help system. Woohoo! And it's compatible with Macintosh and Windows. And then they have a bunch of additional software that goes with it. But, you know, I didn't buy all those. I don't think you need all those. Just saying, save some money. All right. So I'm going to take you over here. Now, this is Album Walk. Apparently, you can only use this if you have iOS, an iPad, an iPhone or a laptop, a Mac. So um, basically, this is pretty cool, but you I don't I cannot find an app for it. So I I mean, I have searched. There is nothing, nothing, nothing. So I know you can do this on the program like I so I, I don't know. I don't know why I can't find an app. Sorry, I don't have all the answers yet. All right, so this is basically every photo has a story and what it does is it lets you record the story so you can actually take the photo and then hit record. If you have family search and you have the memories app, which I hope you all do download it It's called um, memories. It looks it's green with the white tree in the center, I think um, it goes with family search and you can download all the pictures you want on there and it will sync into family search and you can there edit the photos and then you can record a memory about this person and you can also write the dates you can add names you can add descriptions you can add it to an album so i i believe this is something very similar to that except that you this is a, i'm going to show you what it does it's a little bit different and we're just going to go there right now and i'll show you let me turn up the speaker Here we go. So what it does is somebody recorded this and then they when they recorded it, they tagged that person's face in the picture. And so when you click on that person towards the end of the speech, King departed from his prepared text for a partly improvised peroration on the theme I have a dream. In this part of the speech, which has now become its most famous, 
King described his dreams of freedom and equality. And then if you click on this guy's face. Matthew Arman was an American Catholic layman and civil rights activist. He was one of four white men who joined six prominent black civil rights leaders. And then you click on this fellow. Eugene Carson Blake was an American Presbyterian church leader and former president of the National Council of Churches. Dr. Blake had been arrested earlier that summer. Dr. Martin Luther King. Okay, so pretty cool, huh? Um, happy 4th of July, by the way. I'm recording this on 4th of July. So, um, so this is what they're talking about. And this is an example of that that I downloaded from the page. Uh, whoops. From here. So, oh. I registered to get the email because I'm going to find out what's going on with the, if there's an app. So from here, I downloaded it. So you can download, you can come here and download these. And those all have a recorded um, description of the photo and who's in it. Like, I believe uh, some of the founding fathers are in this photo here. I didn't listen to this one, though. All right. So pretty cool. And then... That's what that does. And then if you do want to buy the software, you're just going to click up here where to buy the top corner and then whatever country you live in. I would just go to the software store. It's where I bought mine. I couldn't find it on Amazon and then go to Family Tree Maker. And I'm just going to go through this really fast with you because you don't need to buy all this stuff. It looks very overwhelming. So you're just going to click on the download. OK, and then next. And then this is if you want it for multiple computers. This I did get because I have multiple computers and you can sync it to all three computers with no problem. Awesome. And so it's worth $20. And then you click past this. So right here it tells you you have the Tree Vault cloud service for six months for free. And then down here at the bottom it says um, it requires family tree maker. No, um, no gotchas. Your card will not be charged unless you tell us at the end of the year that you love Tree Vault enough to subscribe for $1.99 a month. And that's the backup. Okay. You always have your own backup. So this is just in case you accidentally just lost it completely. They still have a copy. But if you save yours in a cloud like program like OneDrive or iCloud or Dropbox, it should be good. All right. And then you would hit next. And then this is the companion guide. Like I said, they're going to send you a free PDF of this, so you don't need um, you don't need to purchase this. And then I would skip that charting companion DNA testing family book creator. You can create a book if you want to. But this actually I'm going to show you some cool stuff it can do. And then family history game. And then there's a, a course you can take if you want for photo organizing. So if you need help with that. And then, oh my gosh, preserving your family photos. And there's just, just so much stuff. So just skip past all this and then check out. Okay. So much. All right. On to the next thing. Let's go in and jump into here. All right. Okay. So when you get here, I'm going to click on to file. I'm going to go to open. Okay, so when you first come in to family, if you once you've downloaded it, you're just going to going to email you the download link. You're going to click on it and you're going to click save. And then you're going to it's going to run and save it to your computer. And then once you finish that, you'll open it and you'll register it. And once you get past the registration, you're going to come here. All right, so this is like a restore an emergency tree, which we don't need, but you can see that right here there's reasons for that. But right here is where you would go if you didn't have um, a family tree in ancestry or in family search. So um, if you're starting from zero, this is where you should start. And then we'll get into ancestry and family search. But you should definitely have something to do for your backup. 
So start here with just what you know. Okay. And you would put in, this are fake people that I made up. Bubba Fett and Donnie Fett. And this right here would be... Um, um, I don't know. Donna Eyeball. I don't know why I said that. It's in my brain. Eyeball. Um, I'm just trying to think of something that's not like a real name. Donna Lavender. <laughs> okay. So you would put yourself here, or if you're doing a tree for somebody else, that person would go right here where Bubba is. You know, so you could do a tree for your spouse. You could do a tree for um, your parents, a friend, whoever you want. Excuse me. And then you would put their father here and then their mother and then their birth date with the month, if you know it. So usually, typically, it goes with the month first. Or, I'm sorry, it goes with the date first. And then the month. All right. And then Independence, Missouri. But make sure that if you know the maiden name of the mother that you use, the maiden name, okay? You always want to do that. And then you're going to name the tree. So if you want it to be the tree of your, your names, like it would be my maiden name, if, say, it was Fett, that's what I would use. I would use Fett, not my married name. So I would put the Fett tree. Um, or you could, however you want to pronounce that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's, I think that's a real word. <laughs> All right. So. I think it said it stopped recording, but I think it's still recording. I hope. Okay, sorry. I just got a war. Like you saw the, I was like, said it, my OBS crashed. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going, presuming that this is recording. Okay. So, anyways, you would start there with that. Okay. And put their name there. And then continue. And then it's going to open up more places, all right? And this is going to be where you would continue on. So, like, somebody, you, you have to start somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere, and this is where you start when you start entering names. And then you would enter in, what are your grandparents' names? What is Donnie's dad and mother's name? And then you would put um, Donald Sr. here, Fett. And then mother would be... A different name a different last name if you know that and then you would continue on down here with Bubba's mother and then her parents and you would put in as much information as you can okay and then over here too just so you know is where you can edit everybody over here on the right so and then you can also add Right here, you can add um, view details. And this is not opened up what I thought it was going to open up. Shoot. Options. Here we go. Act properties. It's not letting me open it up. Because you can add more. Uh, whoops. I didn't want to delete that. You can add more um, descriptions. You can add burial. You can add marriage. Like marriage is right here already. But you can add more description boxes right there. And you should be able to do it. Uh, move to position. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. It's weird. Okay. To move on. Um, pretty cool. I like the way this looks too, by the way. All right. So if you don't want to see the full screen, you would click on this little family icon 
And what it's going to do is it's going to show the person that you're on and all of their names below, like all their siblings, all their family names below their spouse over here. So let's show you. All right. So let's go back to home or file open. Oops. Not where I wanted to go. New tree. So if you already have um, ancestry or family search and you want to download a tree from there you, this is where you would go you would go to new tree here and you would enter in um, import an existing tree so you could do a jedcom file so you could download the jedcom from ancestry if you want and then you would go to the file in your computer and you would go right here and import it right here so you browse import and then name your tree okay so that's how you would download a jedcom file download a tree from Ancestry, what it what looks a little bit different than this, but you would go to, um, cause I've already synced this. Oh, start a new tree. Uh, new. Cause it has everything added. Okay. So anyways, there'll be a tab here and it will say sign into Ancestry. You'll sign into Ancestry. And then once you've done that, it will ask you what tree you want to download. So I downloaded several trees um, that I wanted. I downloaded three. I synced these three right here that have the check mark. And then I hit download. And you can see how many people it downloaded and how many media files I have. Okay. Here's my other tree. And so on. All right. And then if you wanted to download from Family Search, you would just click on that. And then here you pick how many generations you want to do or how many descendant generations you want to put in. You can also start the download from you personally. Sorry, I shook the desk again. Bear with me. Or you can also enter in by a person's ID and download from that point on. So and then continue on and it will then sign you in and do the download. That simple. And I already showed you about the emergency tree right here. Pretty easy. So you could not, I mean, I forgot to mention, you can do a, a PAF file, a legacy family, or also family tree maker version five and newer. So I also, what it did is it automatically found my old files. I don't know how it did this, but it downloaded all my old files from my oldest version of like 2012 of family tree maker. So pretty easy to get started with that and that's what you would do most people who have a family tree are going to download ancestry or family search if not start there at the beginning and also i'll go over a video too that you can get a free account for ancestry so ancestry has a free account that you can have um you just not you don't have it all you don't have access to all the records is what i'm trying to say so um, but you get access to a lot of records. And then there's a lot of records on Family Search too. That I mean, there's just a lot of records out there. So if you can't afford an Ancestry account, that's an option. Um, if you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, which I am, you get a free Ancestry account, which is so helpful and it syncs to Family Search. So that's a bonus for sure. For sure. Very helpful. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be using our Ancestry accounts. Anybody, I've always worked from like Ancestry into Family Search. Um, that's how I was taught by another friend. And so that's always just, I've always done that. And I, I believe, I feel like Ancestry has always had much, much more records, many more records than Family Search. I mean, Family Search is getting there. They have quite a few. I mean, I don't know. The more I use Family Search, I'm like, wow, Family Search has a lot more than they used to by, by far. So. All right, you guys, this tells you how to get started in importing your trees and um, all of that. So pretty simple, pretty simple. Um, on the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more than that for sure. Um, this is not that I don't want to use the fake tree. I want to use my ancestry tree. So we're going to go here. Yep. All right.
All right, you guys, I'm going to end this right now and I'm going to get on to the next video and show you a little bit more how this works so that I don't want to get them make them too long. So this has already been like 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to like it. It helps me out a lot. It helps more people find this channel. So I hope this inspired you. If it did, yay. If this, I mean, let me know. Don't forget, do you use this already? If so, tell us what you think about it. What are you struggling with? Um, this is going to be so much fun to dive into this. So I hope more and more people can get this. If you haven't already gotten this, um, or you can't get this, get family, or get Roots Magic. I'm going to be diving into that one too just to help you guys out even though it's not my favorite yet i like it but it's just it's a lot different setup and you know so you got to pick what you what works for you so you guys stay blessed and until next time um yeah be kind and catch you later bye if i can pause the video <laughs> all right bye guys